This week in Unity Nuggets, we are learning how to add target indicator arrows in 2D games. This arrow always points to the target but disappears when it gets too close. And it can also track multiple targets. And just FYI, next week we are learning how to make objects wobble and float. So subscribe if you don't want to miss that. So the trick to achieve this arrow effect is to use Unity's parent-child relationship. Inside a player game object, we can create a child called target indicator, which will track our target. Now because it's a child, it will always follow our player, but we will still be able to rotate it independently to always look at the target. But here's a catch. If you put some sprite like an arrow on this child object, it will also rotate and look weird and all messed up. So the trick is to create another game object as a child of the target indicator and put your sprite on it. This way, when you rotate your target indicator, the arrow will only move and not rotate. Okay, let's go to Unity. I'll start with the base prototype. There's a player with a simple VASD control on it. Now, on the player game object, create a child game object. Let's call it target indicator. Add a script component to it called target indicator as well. Before we start writing the code, add another child object inside this target indicator with a sprite renderer on it. And add your arrow sprite to it. Now, we need to move this arrow slightly outwards so that it doesn't get in the player's way. Let's jump into target indicator code. Define a public variable for the target. In the update method, calculate the direction vector between the target and the current tracker position. This code will be a lot like the one we did in the mouse look at episode. For this vector, find the angle using math of eta and two method, and don't forget to convert that into degrees. Finally, rotate our tracker with this angle. Now in the inspector, create a test target game object with some sprite on it. Drop it in the target field of our indicator and hit play. You can see that the arrow always points to the target and also stays with the player. But this is not enough. We should be able to hide the indicator when the player is too close to the target. To do that, let's create a float variable called hide distance. Now we can check if that distance is less than the hide distance, we deactivate the child arrow object. Otherwise, we activate the arrow and continue with the rotation. Let's refactor this deactivate logic out, otherwise I won't be able to sleep at night. Now we can set the height distance from the inspector and when the player gets too close to the target, the arrow disappears. A good practice here would be to make a prefab out of this and instantiate it when we need it. One nice thing about this is that we can have multiple indicators on a player. So if you want to track two targets, just add one more prefab under the player and also change the color of arrows and the target and have some fun. And that's it. We are done. ND Nuggets is a channel for fellow game developers with tutorials every week. So join me next week to learn how to do a wobbly floaty text like this. Cheers.